This video teaches how to read a tree diagram. This is a tree diagram. It represents the choices that might be made in a cafeteria by a student who has to choose a main dish, fish, beef, or tofu, a potato, either mashed or baked, and a vegetable, corn, peas, or carrots. The way it's made is to take the main dishes and make branches leading out of them. From the main dish, we have branches that go to the different types of potato. And then from the potatoes, we have branches that go to the different types of vegetable. Every combination that a student can choose with their lunch is represented by a pair of branches. So for instance, the top pair of branches goes from fish to mash and then to corn. That student has fish with mashed potatoes and corn. The type of question you might get in which you are asked to read a tree diagram might be like question A down here. What combinations involve beef with baked potato and peas? How many combinations are there and what fraction of the situation do they represent? The only combination that has beef with a baked potato and peas is right here, this branch going from beef to baked, and then this branch going from the baked to peas. We can circle that so we can see what has been chosen. That's the only combination that has those three foods put together. How many combinations are there altogether? Well, fish and mashed potatoes gives three choices of vegetables. Fish and baked potatoes also gives three choices. We can see that there are actually six different choices that involve fish. There are six that involve beef and there are six that involve tofu. So the total is 18 different combinations that can be made. So one out of 18 of the combinations has these three foods in it. We can simplify this fraction and convert it to a decimal. One divided by 18 is 0 0.055, the five repeats. So rounded to the nearest thousandth, it would be 0 0.056. We could also represent the beef, baked potato, and peas in what we call an ordered triad, which looks like this. I put BE for the beef, BA for the baked potato, and PE for the peas. That's an ordered triad. It's the only one that satisfies these conditions. In question B, we're asked, what about a combination involving fish and corn? In this case, no potato is mentioned. You assume the student took a potato, but it doesn't matter which one. So let's see which combinations have fish and corn. We have this branch that goes from fish through mashed potatoes and includes corn. But we also have this branch which goes from fish through baked potatoes and includes corn. There are two situations that have both fish and corn. Two out of 18 which we can calculate is equal to 0 0.111. The ordered triads that involve fish and corn are fish, baked potato, corn, and fish, mashed potato, corn. You may be asked for the triads, you may be asked how many combinations, which is two, you may be asked to calculate the probability of someone choosing fish or corn. All of that is covered here. How about another type of question where they say, what are the choices that do not include beef? Well, we can't include any of these six in the middle, but all six of these fish choices count and all six of the tofu choices count. There are 12 out of 18 choices that do not include beef. This reduces to two-thirds and converts in decimal form rounded to the nearest thousandth into 0 0.667. We can also list the ordered triads that do not include beef, but there are 12 of them. So we would have to list 12 of these ordered triads. If the question asks us to do it, of course we can. Now you know how to read a tree diagram. 